Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I know some of you are still working. You may work quietly along as I make a quick video. This year, in fifth grade, you are required to understand how to multiply whole numbers by unit fractions. So, an example, we have a whole number, 6, divided by a unit fraction. A unit fraction is a fraction that has 1 as the numerator. A fraction that has 1 as the numerator. Anytime you're doing that, dividing a whole number by a unit fraction, you are going to have a whole number as your answer. Let me repeat that. If you're dividing a whole number by a unit fraction, a fraction that has 1 in the numerator, you're going to have a whole number as your answer. So in this case, we have the fraction 6 divided by 1 fourth. We're going to take our dividend, which is 6. I'm going to draw six of these. And it may be written in different ways. So we have six. Six holes. We're going to divide that by one fourth. So each of these holes is divided into fourths. Your answer is how many ever holes there are. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 6 divided by 1 fourth equals 24. So anytime you're dividing a whole number by a unit fraction, you're going to get a whole number as your answer. Let's look at another one. Because I want to, Alec. That's why. Jeez, Alec. Yeah, yeah, Alec. Yeah. Yeah. Three divided by one third. Again, we have a whole number divided by a unit fraction. Our unit fraction is one third. One third. So we need to take three holes. And we need to divide that into thirds. And our answer is going to be how many total pieces we have. So Kayla, how many total pieces Nine. do we have? Nine. Okay, Nine. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. So if I divide a whole number by a unit fraction, I'm going to get an answer that is a whole number. However, we're also doing unit fractions divided by whole numbers the other way. So if we have unit fraction, divided by a whole number, Now this is, please remember, I'm not saying every time you divide a whole number by a unit fraction, you're going to get a whole number. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you divide a whole number by a unit fraction, not any fraction, just by a unit fraction. So let's take a look at this. We have 1 6 divided by 12. 1 6 divided by 12. I'm sorry, let me change that and make it easier to draw. 1 6 divided by 2. 1 6 divided by 2. If I have my sixths, so I have 1 6 divided by 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm taking 1 6 and I'm dividing it in half. Then I just count my fraction is going to have a. I need half of 1 6. So I'm going to take this, 
One sixth divided by two. And one out of how many are shaded in? Kayla? Eleven. One out of how many total? Uh, twelve. Twelve. One twelve. So if I start with a unit fraction and I divide it by a whole number, I'm going to get a fraction, a unit fraction, actually. So a unit fraction divided by a whole number is going to give you a unit fraction as an answer. One more. Yes. Great. Let's take one-fourth divided by three. One-fourth divided by three. Uh, each of these is a fourth. I'm dividing it into thirds. I need one-third of this one-fourth. So I have one over... Kayla? Over 12. 12. Okay. So there's one question on that review that you're doing that you're taking and you're dividing 24 by 1 6 or is it 24? Uh, I think so. Which one's the band practice? Uh, right. Oh yeah, that's... Uh, I, 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 Wait, what is it? Oh, I, I'm on math teams. Math teams practice drills at least one sixth of twenty four hours. One sixth, okay. So they can do in this one. Well, we don't want to talk about that one right now because not everybody's there. I don't want to distract you. But if if you look at that problem, let me read it real quick, Ricky. That problem says. It says the math team does practice drills that last one sixth of an hour. In February, the team did practice drills for 24 hours. So each drill lasts one sixth of an hour. If each drill lasts one sixth of an hour, Tatum, how many drills can they do per hour? Six. Six. They can do six drills per hour. Because if they do one sixth, and then two sixths, and three sixths, and four sixths, and five sixths, and six sixths is going to equal an hour. Because each drill equals one sixth of an hour. And then it says if you can do six drills per hour, and you're working for 24 hours, how many drills will that be? Dealer, dealer. Mm. You can do 144 drills in 24 hours. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a dollar? No. Yes, you may. Boom, shakalaka. Peace, Peace out. out. God, God bless. bless. Love, Love you. Do something kind.